So in this video I'm going to show you how to use AutoTuner to do a software backdate or update on a Volkswagen Golf 2 litre TDI. So this equation occurs um, from time to time when the emissions fixes have been applied to a car and then the customer don't like the results of that. And a lot of times the customer is losing miles per gallon, the EGR is being activated all the time and the car is sluggish and got flat spots it didn't have before the update. So this is the emissions recall, uh, emissions fix that was done by Volkswagen Audi Group. It's quite common that customers want a rollback or a software backdate to an older software version. So the vehicle we're working with today is a Volkswagen Golf. So you go open up the auto tuner, select Volkswagen, as you can see in the red box. Once you've selected Volkswagen, it brings up the models. And this is a Golf and it's a 2012 so we've selected the uh, Golf from 2012 onwards. Once that's been selected the next screen you'll see is the engine selection and horsepower and ECU selection. So going through the list of vehicles this being a 140 horsepower and um, the desired uh, the, the required ECU was EDC 17 C46 so we selected that one. When we get onto the selection screen, because we're doing this through the OBD port, uh, the first thing you want to do is number one in the red box, which is identify. So you want to identify the ECU to see what you're starting with, see what the starting blocks are. Um, once you know where you are and what software version you're on, then you can do the research as covered in our backdate course. So we've got a auto tuner course uh, that you, you're studying that you'll be able to see all, all about how to find out what software number is before the recall. So you just got to ID, ID the ECU, see what you're on. Once you've ID the ECU, the next step is to select right ECU, which is the number two box. And it will bring up an option saying, do you want to write a tuned file or do you want to write a software update from the server? So because we're not remapping it, we're doing a backdate or update and you click software from the server. What that does is search the cloud, the uh, auto tuner cloud, to find a matching software number that matches the current software number that you've just ID'd. It'll bring up the following screen once that's done. In blue is the current file, so that's back to stock. So that's to return the vehicle back to stock. If you had uh, remapped it and something wasn't right or the customer wasn't happy with something then you could use this back to stock button just to revert it back to standard even if you didn't travel out to that vehicle in the first place and remap it say for instance some other remapping company has been there before you you don't have the stock original file you can use auto tuner to put it back to stock first maybe di maybe dyno the car or data log the car make sure everything's running fine make sure it's achieving the power it should and if you're happy with that then go ahead and tune it a lot of times you might turn up to cars and it's been remapped before you don't know whether it's got a bad file on there or it's not running mechanically sound so using this back to stock button you can revert it back to original first data log it, dyno run it um, make sure it's achieving its stock figures if it's achieving its stock figures then you can go ahead and do a software update or backdate or a remap so the server, uh, the current uh, software version it's running is 9978 as you can see in the blue box. After doing the research, um, which we cover in the auto tuner course we sell online, um, we figured out the customer needed 9970. Anything on this particular car, uh, it's not for every car, but on this particular software version, and uh, now if you if we're on anything newer than 9978 as you can see there which is the current version we can backdate it to below 9970 anything below there um, is or anything from there and below is before the recall so we select that one AutoTuner then says are you sure you want to write 9970 into the ECU which we press yes making sure the ignition's on the battery support units on and all the other things that you need to have done to make sure it's safe. That's now writing the file to the ECU, the new software or the software backdate. 
And as you can see in red, it says old software version. The emissions fix is 9978 in red at the top of the screen. And lower down in green, it's the new software version, which is actually the backdated one, which is 9970. So that's the uh, version it's writing, which is 40% writing at the moment. Once it's finished, it'll come through to this screen. As you can see in the red box at the top of the screen, it says ECU has successfully been flashed. It took eight minutes, uh, nearly nine minutes. And that's it, it's finished. Um, but what we always like to do for good practice is before finishing the job, is just go on to identify in the red box on the left, click on that, and re-identify the ECU again, and that double checks that you've got the right software version on there. So as you can see in the green box in the middle of the screen, you can see the current software version is now 9970. So that's successfully backdated it to before the emissions fix. The car will run a lot better now, not activate the EGR on time, and um, have better miles per gallon and drivability. So that's how you backdate the software using Auto Tuner, and you can also use this same guide to update the software. Uh, check out our Auto Tuner course on auto automotiveeducation.co.uk or automotiveeducation.online and you can find our courses on there with full guides on how to use the Auto Tuner and other tools as well. Thank you.